Oh my gosh, you're not gonna believe this. <laughs> I had to stop dead in my tracks. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wife Lady and welcome to my channel. Okay, so we are in Shillington, Pennsylvania today and we are at the Goodwill. <laughs> We're about to head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. I noticed this on the bottom shelf. It's made in Thailand. I guess it's a Noah's Ark design. It's in pretty decent shape. It's $2.99. It's a little bit larger, but we have a box that that would fit in, so I think I'm going to grab that. This looks like it could be Pendlefin Rabbit. Well, look at that. $1.99. That's for all the little Pendlefin Rabbits. There's a little bit of a chip up there, but... I think I'll grab that. Maybe we'll find some little Pendlefin rabbits lurking around. I somehow managed to pick the busiest day of the week. This place is absolutely insane right now. <laughs> so I'm kind of hiding over here in the white section where nobody else ventures. But maybe we'll find something. The clown rabbits are actually ceramic. I expected those to be, uh, what are those? Small porcelain in Portugal. Clowns. Interesting. $4.99 for this set. That's like a child set. So I looked this up um, just because I thought, wow, it's ceramic. Let's check it out. It's Spall of uh, Portugal. They have $4.99 on that. Um, there, I couldn't find any sold, but the comps, people were asking uh, about $15. So that's what I have to compete with if I decide to list it. So I think I'm going to pass on that. So I was noticed, first I noticed this mug and I picked it up and I carried it around and I looked it up. Um, it sells for like $8 to $12. I still might pick that up. And then I noticed these ones by the same artist, Boynton. They're recycled paper products, all rights reserved. And I think I might grab them all since there are three of them. I think they're like 1980s possibly, maybe 1990s. I mean, they are eight to 12, but they're very sweet. Here's a cake plate. That is Tuscany Collection Japan. Pin Prim Temps or something to that effect. $2.99. Um, I've, I've, <laughs> I've made a, a conscious effort to stop discounting um, pieces like these from the 1980s because after I looked up solds on some of that Studio Nova, <laughs> thanks to one of my viewers, um, I'm really like, I've opened my eyes to them. So I am still learning these pieces. So of course I'm going to look it up just to make sure. I mean, it's a cake plate for $2.99. So we'll see. This guy right here looks like a Ray Dunn. Kitty's in a bicycle. It is a Ray Dunn. It's $1.99. I find that these mugs can usually sell for $18 to $24. I would venture to guess that this is a Halloween mug, just because of the black and the uh, orange, but we will see. Just to give you an idea of how busy they are today, I'm here in the back corner of the store and the line starts right there. <laughs> That's how crazy it is today. All right, so I couldn't find anything on this plate. I think I'm gonna leave it. It's, I mean, it's probably worth like $18 to $24, but um, I think I'm going to pass on it. At least the aisles have kind of uh, emptied out a little bit, so we can come back over here and see what we can find. Well, we looked at this bag the other day when we were here. There's a sweet bunny rabbit. He's missing the rest of his body, though. I wonder if these two actually go together. They're both made of resin. This is very heavy. Looks like their price was $12.99. <laughs> is this another one of those same mugs? No, this is a Hallmark mug. There's a pretty bowl down there. Oh, it's pretty damaged on the back though. French Garden Hand Painted Collection. That's a shame. There's even shipping on the edge. I like these. Kind of botanical. What does it say? Vintage Garden by Princess House. It's a Princess House exclusive. 
$1.99. There are two of them, apparently. They're both really damaged on the bottom. <laughs> I just had a moment, I'm like, wait a second. I know, I know I have a pregnancy brain, but I'm not that crazy. Okay, um, these are Princess House exclusive. They're $1.99. Mm, they don't, I mean, they don't have a very high resale value, but I think they're very pretty. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a decision based on that, which isn't always the best idea, but we'll grab them. This is an antique uh, milk glass vanity jar, but it is missing its lid. Here are some vintage mugs. They've got flowers and bees on them. They are made in Portugal. Kind of like a majolica. And they're a little bit heavier uh, than what we find when we find them from Japan. I don't see any damage on those. How much are they? $3.99. I guess today's the day of mugs. Because I think I'm going to grab these. If they didn't have those bugs on them, I probably wouldn't care as much, but I just think they're great. So we have a small little collection here. All right, so today I decided not to attempt to push my cart down this aisle because it's just too narrow. So I'm just gonna walk it real quick. Uh, I do have my purse on me, you guys don't have to worry. <laughs> We're gonna see. Looks like mostly frames. Lots of frames. If you ever need frames, Goodwill is your first stop because you can find lots of different frames here. I don't see any artwork uh, for resale though, so we're going to check the next aisle. This is a, a Santa playing uh, baseball. <laughs> Philadelphia Phillies. Look at this gentleman. It looks like a political cartoon of some sort. Or maybe it's just a stylized judge guy. <laughs> Let's look at this. The sky is taking up a lot of space in this painting. I mean, it's not terrible. Kind of reminds me of uh, Central New York. I don't know, the, the frame is pretty cheap. Oh, it's actually painted. It's painted on that. I don't know. It's a dollar ninety-nine. It's pretty easy to ship. I figure you get at least eighteen bucks for that, so we'll grab it. Here's the art pottery bowl. I am the bread of life. Usually, when you see that, it's on bread <laughs> bread plates and not on bowls. But that's nicely made. It's two ninety-nine. Again, we're looking at at least $18 on that, so there it goes. There are a pair of California Redwood candlestick holders here. I have bought and sold them in the past. So, you know what, I think since there's a pair, the last time I, I sold them, I only, I say them, but it was only a single. So since that's a pair, I think we'll give it a shot. A nice figural candle, I want a pet. <laughs> $4.99 on that. Oh boy. I don't know. I'm hesitant to leave it behind for that, but it's in good shape for being a vintage candle. Okay, you can write in my cart. Oh, well, look at that. The other day I was here, I bought a, uh, a bowl. Oh, look, these are TJ Maxx, $2.99. I bought one of these the other day because it had a cat on it. This must be the rest of them. All right. I'll take the rest of them. Even though they have that uh, TJ Maxx sticker on them, there's no telling how old it is. And uh, there might be somebody looking for those pieces now. It's a shame that that has some damage on it. There's a hubby space. Oh my gosh, you're not gonna believe this. <laughs> I had to stop dead in my tracks. There is another one. That is crazy. And the frame looks like it's got some age to it. The last one I sold, sold for over $200. <laughs> 
that. I mean, that was right in line with the comps I was seeing. I almost listed it, buy it now, and then I decided to start it at $4, but that is crazy. That just completely made our day. All this walking around aimlessly, and that's what it was for. Now let's see if we can find another one. <laughs> that's unlikely. Here's a T10 MSR Imports. Nice colonial scenes on that. Uh, somebody got a hold of uh, mom's nail polish, it looks like. Chip plate. Here's some art glass, $3.99. The last time I picked up a piece of art glass and set it back down, it was the Murano vase that was worth upwards of $10,000. I'm not getting $10,000 vibes from this piece, but I really didn't get it from the last piece. But what I am seeing here is, uh, you can see the sticker, the oval sticker down there, underneath the Goodwill sticker, that is probably made in China. So we will leave it. This is a crazy light. And is that... Oh, it's, it's resin. It's a Texas light. Look at that. Texas. <laughs> That's just crazy. I wonder what they made that out of. That's definitely different. That down there looks interesting. Yeah, I thought it was a uh, textured, but it's not. Is it marked on the bottom? It is marked. What does it say? Great Bay Pottery. I found one. Great Bay Pottery crock with lid. It sold for $30. There's some others sprinkled in here. This is, oh my gosh, look. What? No, that's vintage. That's different. <laughs> here is a, uh, a mug that sold for $7. I mean, the crock sold for $29.98 though. So, only $4.99. I'll take that. Okay, so the crowd has pretty much cleared out. Uh, they are still stocking the shelves though, so I'm going to hang out for a little bit longer. I think I just totally won with that sacred heart uh, embroidery. So I'm just thrilled with that. I could leave right now happy, but we're gonna hang out for a little while longer and see if there's anything else we can find. Those have some age, but they're missing their saucers. And I looked at that the other day. I just love the color. I spotted this on the end cap. It is signed on the bottom. I know I've seen this before and I'm not sure if I saw it posted in my Facebook group or uh, if another reseller found one similar. But it is a coffee mug and it's a studio pottery. You can see it's signed there on the bottom. Um, the, I guess the intention is to hold it like this when you drink with... I think I prefer the standard regular mugs, but um, so it looks like there might be a seam on that. I don't know. In any case, it's it's a really interesting style for a mug, and it's two ninety nine. So I'll give it a shot. I remember seeing it, but I don't remember seeing how much it it's worth. <laughs> so do we want to take bets? Is it wooden? Is it rubber? Is it resin? It is Red Mill. $4.99. It is resin. <laughs> He's pretty realistic looking. I think it might be worth looking him up. If he was only $1.99, I'd probably just throw him in my cart and keep going. But at $4.99, I just want to double check. Alright, well I just watched this go onto the shelf. And I thought, you know what, that's not really my thing. But that looks vintage and it looks cool. i got to get my phone back in my purse there. Let's see. General Electric Super Radio. <laughs> it's really neat and vintage. How much do they want for it? $9.99. Yikes. The last radio I got here did not work and I didn't test it up when I was at the store. I waited until I got home. Um, it's super heavy. I guess it's supposed to be that way. Anyway, um, <laughs> I think I'm gonna put the turtle back. I looked up comps and it sells between $12 and $15, but I think I might pick up this thing. So here is the ultimate test because I have not yet toggled it to sold listings. We're looking at um, asking, and they have one here. This is the same one. 
for $200. <laughs> Somebody is asking. So let's switch it over to sold. Excuse me. Yeah, no problem. I'm going to check out the solds here. Well, shoot. Have Those look one. very similar. Cover. Yeah, I'd you say uh, that's that's the one right there. Hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. All right, so we're looking at probably seventy-five, seventy-five to hundred and fifteen. Sweet. We got it. We got to see if it works though. I also picked up this tote bag. You can never have too many. Of course, this was Julia's song Julia Sonsky's but it's also from Cape Cod so <laughs> Cape Cod made in China figured I could put my stuff in there when I'm carrying it out to the car hmm those figurines are made in Korea interesting they look like uh, they're better quality than a lot of the ones I see what is this devotion exclusive edition I'm surprised they're not broken Maybe I should, should I look them up? Maybe I should. Well, that's all we've got. They're sold. So we're gonna keep walking. This looks nice though. What is that? Hammersley, made in England. There's a candlestick holder. It's got $1.99 on it. You know, I feel like I've picked up quite a few things today that were in the eight to 12 range and that's probably one of them, so. Um, if there was a pair, it might be a little bit more tempting. I picked up a piece similar to this at the Big Goodwill, the one in Lancaster. And uh, that one was Fostoria. I feel like it was different than this, though. I don't think it had these little pinched, uh, pinched things. That was more of a formed glass. And it kind of had like a, a texture to it. So I don't think that's what it is. Hopefully. I'm sure you guys will let me know. There is a very impressive teapot. It even has the base on it. <laughs> a lot of the gold is worn. Um, it's a blue luster. I'm going to try to tip it one handed. Made in Japan. I like that it has the base on it. If the teapot itself wouldn't be worth very much, but the fact that it has its base. And I'm looking everywhere for a sticker. I can't find it. I'm going to turn off the camera and look. So it's $4.99. <laughs> it was probably staring at me the whole time. Um, I think I will grab it because it has that hot plate underneath it. Without the hot plate, I probably would have passed. Um, the luster teapots are just so common. Is it too much to just reach over and grab that? Oh my gosh. That is amazing. I don't want to drop it. It's got like one hand on it. Wow, look at the etched glass. Is it etched or is it kind of just frosted? I love that so much. Okay, well they are still rolling out new carts, but I feel like I've had enough for today. So I think we're gonna pack it up. I'm gonna hop in line and uh, I will let you guys know our total. Uh, from the car. Okay, well, our total spend today was $83. I feel like it started out slow, possibly because it was so crowded and everybody was looking on the shelves. And then once the crowd began to slim out, that's when the stuff started showing up. So we found some great stuff today. I'm really pleased with that radio thing. <laughs> and uh, also that Sacred Heart. That was that just made my day. So I'm obviously going to get out of here now because I am at the next Goodwill. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, you're going to have to wait for this one. But I will see you then. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day. And I've posted a link to that down in the description.